pay off debt or invest in the stock market? It's a really important question and it's a really hard question to answer, which I'm going to try and do in this video as someone who isn't qualified to really talk about this kind of thing. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, please give me a thumbs up, it'll really help push the video out to more people so more people can see it. Um, God, this could be the worst intro ever. In this video, I want to try and simplify the size of the argument and try and give my take and what my impression on this is. So I actually got asked this question by one of your lovely selves, uh, someone called HP. HP, if you're watching, thanks for the questions, really great questions. But the reason I wanted to make this video is that I actually disagree with one of the answers I gave. I guess this is more reason why you just shouldn't listen to anything I say. But in my answer, I kind of took the Dave Ramsey approach, who is someone who is qualified to talk about finance. and. Dave Ramsey's view is very much that you should pay off debt first. Um, investing with debt is a very risky thing to do. You should pay off all kinds of debt apart from your mortgage before you invest in the stock market, yada, yada, yada. If someone is interested in personal finance, I think Dave Ramsey is a really good person to introduce them to the topic. He's got the seven baby steps, which I think is a great starting point, because if you don't know where to start, just start from baby step one, and then if you've done that already, they can go to two, and so on and so forth. And I think it's really easy to understand his sort of concepts and what he's trying to put across. However, in my totally unqualified opinion, I sort of disagree with this school of thought. And I think, especially if you're young, paying off debt maybe shouldn't be your priority. If we're talking about high interest debt, so things like credit card debt, where the interest rate, let's say, is going to be more than eight or 10%, uh, probably going to be much more than that then I think ignore the rest of this video. You should focus on just paying off your credit card debt, in my opinion, not advice. And that's really because if you are investing with this high interest rate debt, you're taking on so much risk because you're going to have to pay 8%, 10%, whatever it is, 15% more on whatever the loan amount is every year. And the returns of the stock market or whatever investment you're making are never going to be guaranteed. So you are betting against this guaranteed high interest rate debt with something that isn't guaranteed and it's just incredibly risky, incredibly not good. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So the real crux of the issue is if you are, let's say a student, you've got a student loan, you've heard about this investing thing, you want to get involved, you're not sure if it's the financially right thing to do, what should you do? Well, Actually, it's really hard to find the answer, but rest assured, I have found an answer for you. So there's this show called The Money Guy Show, they have a YouTube channel, and they made a video talking about exactly this thing, whether you should invest or pay off debt. And I'm going to put something I've taken from their video on the screen now, and it basically says that the younger you are, you can afford to prioritise investing in the stock market, even when your loan or your the interest on your debt might have slightly higher interest rates. So what they say is that if you're between the ages of 20 and 29, then you should only prioritise loans if the interest rates are 6% or more. Now, for student loans here in the UK, they aren't going to be 6% or more. Now, this is a little bit confusing because the interest rate on student loans in the UK are linked to inflation. So technically, if you take in inflation and then have the maximum amount added on, which is 3%, you could get that number to over 6% really quite easily. But the inflation rate in terms of increasing your loan amount doesn't have any real impact. So when I did my calculation in terms of how much debt one could expect to pay back working as a doctor with a student loan, I disregarded the interest that came from inflation because it doesn't have any real um, impact doesn't have any real cost. If you aren't familiar with the concept of inflation, then I've made a video to explain that and I definitely recommend checking that out. It's basically how money loses value over time. Anyway, I digress. I kind of lean heavily towards investing in the stock market if the only kind of debt that you have is student loan debt and you're here in the UK. I think that investing in the stock market is actually a really, really powerful thing that you can do. And it's because of something called compound interest. And I think because of this one reason, you should invest in, st in the stock market as soon as you possibly can afford to and know how to do, which is why I've made this channel, because I want to try and equip people with the knowledge to go out there and actually invest in the stock market. So if you're not familiar with the idea of compound interest, I've made a really clickbaity titled video talking about just how powerful that is. And the take home message is 
invest as soon as you can because your investment is going to grow exponentially and the longer you delay investing you're cutting out the growth of your money when it's going vertical like this you're losing this really massive growth year on year that every year you delay i hope that was a clear message backed up by people who know what they're talking about i hope it was useful i hope that i gave some kind of value and information if you enjoyed please remember to leave the, a thumbs up, it would help me out and help push this video out to more people. Please subscribe if you want to listen to me for some reason um, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. I'm sorry I'm not very regular with my uploads recently. I'm at medical school, I'm just learning how this whole thing works um, but I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and who subscribes so thank you very much. Um, I guess that's all from this video. Thank you very much for watching.